Okay, Nick Pixel. My buddy Nick Pixel, we all know who he is. He's a heck of a man, I should say. Nick, I know that you went out and bought yourself the Weaver 1085, okay? But I, I noticed you didn't have any suspenders. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I, I was not the, uh, forget it. I'm not even gonna go there. I wasn't the kind of fella to think about how can I do this easier. I climbed in a leather belt from Buckingham for 20 freaking years with no suspenders, just a strap of leather and a freaking saddle that goes around and hooks into a couple of Ds for my repellent. I was so old school, but I'll tell you something. I got onto the suspenders. Stillborn was getting barking at me there for a while and Hogan and that or whatever, but suspenders, Nick. I'm gonna do a video. I got a dead balsam to climb over here. Well, Nick, I've got myself a dead balsam over here. I'm gonna get into the tree and start climbing. <laughs> I'm gonna run you through some simple things that'll make it nice and easy for you when you decide to start your climbing career there in Pennsylvania. Now, Nick, depending on your climbing situation, your rigging, you're gonna wanna put your belt on before you click your spurs on. Let me tell you right now. Anyways, listen, get some suspenders. I'll see you over the tree. Okay, Nick. Nick Pixel. Here's Nick. What do we do with Nick? Nick's... Interesting climb, actually. They're new to me, so... Trust your gear, buddy. You're going to hear that more times than... You'll, you'll be want to admit. Hogan says. Doing one, Nick. But, but listen, Nick, here's the deal, okay? Learn how to climb down, Nick, before you start rappelling. You got me, brother? Learn how to climb down, Nick. Okay, you want to see that again, Nick? Sometimes when the trees are bigger, just go like that. Stand there at the bottom of the tree and do these things just before you get going. See, you see what I mean? And just get clicked in, Nick, okay? Lean back on your strap. This thing's, always try, Nick, and climb the back side of the tree. It's tough, you're underneath, it, it's tough. Sometimes you gotta go there, not always. Nick, find your comfort zone. Now listen, these spurs actually don't feel that bad. I adjusted them the other day. Now. Nick, get some suspenders. Son, can you check the view on that camera and see if we're good? So Nick, um, listen buddy, before you go straight to, the, to your work, wherever your work is, if you haven't climbed a tree, get in there, get yourself set so you can, you know, grab the, grab the spurs. Don't try and flip your line by, by grabbing it here and going like this. See what's gonna happen? Look at, you're gonna go nowhere, buddy. You either put gloves on and get your freaking hands inside the tree. See, look, see this? That's how you flip a line. You take small steps like that. Lean in, you know, do whatever and get, get this going like this, okay? Or you do the old sloop like this nickel, okay? But listen, Nick, before you get way up there, in the first 10 foot of the tree, just get your strap in, get comfortable, and go like this, Nick. Short steps, flip your line. Short steps, trust your gear, boom. Then, go like this, Nick. Why do you think cats get stuck in trees? <laughs> because they don't like climbing down. They can scale anything, but they ain't coming down. You need to learn to climb down, Nick. I'm not gonna teach you to rappel. You can, you can learn that anywhere. Okay, that's your lesson, start climbing. Small steps. Don't take big steps, you'll tire out, Nick. Okay, son, you can do whatever you like with that. Oh, we're gonna run out of batteries, darn it. Okay, Nick, this is an old school, I'm an old school climber. This is for Nick Pixel, he's a friend of mine. He loves, He's he just, he wants to learn how to climb trees. And I'm his good friend and he's my good friend and we're friends and we love one another. We both have wives. Don't get no funny ideas. <laughs> Anyways, um, Nick, uh, I told you I would do you a little video on the basics of, of, of just getting into a tree, 
Listen, buddy, just take small steps. It, people make a big mistake about taking these big steps. Take small steps, okay? I'll have some uh, other footage for you on the, on the, on the small, on the, far, the phone camera. You know what I mean? Getting into the tree and that. We're going up the tree. I'm just going to cut, okay? But if there's something that, that I need to think about cutting, I'll stop. I'll talk to you about it, but we're just going to cut. I'm going to turn this camera on. It's, it's literally one minute into the tree. It's a good size balsam. It's close to 100 foot. Even with the top out of it, it's probably a 100 foot climb our tree and uh we got lots of space it's fairly straightforward but it has a lean and i'm just gonna start rocking so nick watch what i do if i see something that uh i'll talk to you about i'll just talk to you about okay it's always nice nick if you're like i don't climb like here's my other strap right there, there's my my two and one okay um I, I don't use it. I could literally right now leave all this foliage on it and two and one my way through this tree, go up to the top, cut the top, and then I could leave these limbs on it and just fall the tree. Or I strip it. You know what I'm saying? So because it's kind of a video like that, I think I will strip it. Just a cutting video and you can watch how I, I cut, okay? Nick, old boy, so what you want is you don't want anything hanging down at your feet, Nick. You just don't. So get rid of your excess material. I just run my extra strap out the back so it's behind me, Nick. You see what I'm saying? Behind me, and here I am. Okay? So this is what we're doing. a nice thing to do Nick you know what I'm talking about I'm old school Nick see so climb up to where you can cut some stuff If I was going to strip all the limbs, I work around the right. I just keep spiraling around the tree, okay? Right? Small steps, buddy. you got you can slide around right just slide around right flick that strap up small steps Nick really right up a dead balsam not all the way dead yet the tops dying and gonna follow suit there's all septic and stuff down here so they're getting it while it's still climbable sorry about the burps are you getting it while it's still climbable and we can still take it small and not not damage up the septic it's a nice size tree to climb I'm kind of jealous of this one i wanted to climb this one. but it's been a while so he's got to get a climb in i got a little one i got to set a rope in that alder I just climbed it for the heck of it. Nice and small.
you first start climbing, you're gonna wanna probably... When you first start climbing, you're probably gonna start forcing your legs. Hogan, do you remember having to force your legs out when you first started climbing? Yeah, also I noticed, you might think it's more comfortable. You'll notice all new climbers have their legs bent like this. They got their knees bent. It's harder. It's harder and it's harder on your body. You wanna be back. That's right, like this. Yeah, like this, Nick, is what he's talking about. You, you'll see, guys. And the reason they've got their knees bent is because they're not trusting the gear. No, they, they feel like they need to hug the tree. And you're sweating, and you're... Consciously, yes. stressing your whole body out, flexing your leg muscles, tensing up. Yes. And at the end of the day, you're just beat. We call it cubby, yeah. like a bear. Yeah. And you're so afraid, so trust yeah. the gear. To me, and it's hilarious. Oh, I... Yeah. And, and actually, yeah, and a thing for what you did, son, what, what Hogan did a lot of is look down at my feet. If you look down at my feet is Hogan would literally, it was, it was like, this. I'm scared to even do it. He had his legs like this, Nick, like this, and he, he didn't splay his legs out. You've got to learn to kick your legs out in the beginning. Kick them out because your toes are going to hit and they're going to go like that and you're going to kick out and it's no fun kicking out. We all know that. Actually, son. Yeah, don't be one hand and off the hop. You want to try and keep two hands on the power saw. Unless you get an echo. <laughs> if you want one, yeah. And then I can run the double strap. Why don't you? Okay. You'd be fighting your rope then because you got to drop your rope down. I'm okay with that. Okay. So it's less weight. So I'm going to go get a, I'm going to go get a, uh, another rope. sure there's nothing there? No, there's nothing. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm actually not going to worry about it then. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you'll enjoy it. Though. No. So, friends, I don't have my other strap. Uh, I just don't have it. Send me the simplest setup you got. Okay, my nice young man's son went and got me. Good to see steel D-ring there. Yeah. Okay. So, now here is my two-in-one ordeal. Now, I'm going to be Mr. Climber Dude, who's got... A double tie-in, which is right here. Now I just, um, Press in on the yeah, that's funny. So there you go, Nick. Nick. Yes, it is. That's septic. Okay, friends. So so here it is. I have two. This is a two-in-one system, Nick. This is what you want. Okay. This is what you want. Okay, buddy. Now I'm just gonna strip the tree. I'm gonna save fuel. Now, if you've got a big tree like this to climb and you're by yourself, um, you wanna turn that gas off. Look at, see buddy? Now we're right into limbs. You watch for kickback, Nick. the side of the tree do a swing take a look what you got not bad because all you're gonna do is get caught on stuff and it's gonna be frustrating if you're not clean see how that lines flipping nice and easy yeah let's give this a little snug there we go there's our two and one so if something failed I'm not going you're right son it does feel good having that there <laughs> We're coming up to that dog leg now. This thing's rocking around pretty good. Okay. Sure feels good having that tie in. See? This thing's rocking around pretty good. Okay. Sure feels good having that tie in. See? Just like that. I love it to the center D. 
Awesome. You guys still on? Yeah, cool. Well, so we're at the loop. Uh, I'm gonna have to climb high because unless I throw it into there. Okay, so you got a time lapse going? Yeah, I'll get some footage of this too. Shoot for like. I'm gonna shoot right to the right of that fur. Right here. Yep. Right here. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. So here I am, Nick, sitting here straight legged, leaning back on the strap, okay? Leaning back on my gear, trusting my gear. You will burn yourself. Nick, you'll burn yourself right out. There's a hundred thousand different ways to do different everything, right? I'm just one man who knows Nick Pixel who asked me, he or didn't ask me, I'm volunteering a little old school climbing video for the guy that hopefully it'll help him out. Nick, the biggest thing is learn quickly at the bottom of the tree before you get up into it, how to climb up and climb down. You do it. Be struggling once you get to where you're at. That's it. That's where I used to start getting kind of shaky. Yeah, 40, 50 feet. Yeah. Freak right out because you're yeah. not only are you trying to learn some new thing with your That's bones, right. learn a new knot. Learn your gear at the bottom. That's right. So you learn your system at the bottom of the tree. Yeah. Even though you know how it works, work it. Double check it. Yeah, work it all at the bottom. In the first 10, 12 feet, just go up and down a couple times, friends. Uh Nick, just just do it and take small steps. I can't. How important is small steps, boy? It's, it's, and once you get better, you get longer steps and you start using your arms more to climb up. You do. You're right. pulling yourself up. Flip, it's true. Okay. Exactly. So so here I am with my Buck and Billy Ray Soldiers of Kindness sweat top on, <laughs> with the sleeves cut off, with my kid on the ground, and I've, I'm able, I got lots of room underneath me, I'm able to let a good chunk go. I don't have to go up into that school mark. Again, Nick, watch this, watch what I do. See, see this? You grab both of these, okay, buddy? See the balsam? They're terrible. These, these are just terrible for sap. Look at this, I'll show you one. See that right there? See all that? Look at it. This is, it, these are brutal. They smell wonderful, but they're horrible on your gear. It, you're, you just, you turn black. So anyway, here's the thing with flipping your line, okay? Dig your pick. You, you pull yourself in, Nick. You pull in, okay? Pull yourself in and just give it a quick flick up. You've got to get the weight off the strap or you're not flicking nothing. Right, Nick? So, see my hips? Young climbers, new, novice, old, everybody. You've got to, you, you pull yourself in, get your hips in and drop. Boom, now you're back on the gear. Pull yourself in, get your tree to tree, which is, you know what I mean? Get your berries up close to the stump and give it a flick, real quick flick, that's it. That's the, that's the ordeal. It, it doesn't have to be violent and awkward, just, you know, and then you'll learn to swing and, and twist the rope and it becomes quite glorious actually. And you, you, you start to, it becomes methodical and it is lovely, it's a lovely, lovely trade. There's our septic tank down there. There's no point in me being over on this side. I want to see where my holding wood is. So now I come over this thing will fit right in there. I'm gonna shoot it just to the right of that fir tree, okay? So here's the deal. I do conventional in when I tree climb, mainly, unless I need to do a humble for some reason. Okay, 
There we go. We're just about right on the money. on a long piece. So I'm gonna drop my strap down. I'm gonna put a little <laughs> Take a look at your holding wood. We're almost cut up. Look, see that? Right on the money, okay? Here we go. Now's when you watch your top. Watch what it's doing. See, now you look up the stem because you don't want to hit the fur. Take a look at what you got. You got about two inches. Let's go. Interesting. Good. Holding wood right across the stump. There it is. Now, will this thing fit, boy? Let's pull off a bit of that, which we need to. I don't even know how these things work. I honestly don't. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I think I'll just flop one. Ah, uh... oh, maybe I'll put it here. So here, here's the deal. We are going to, yeah, because this thing's leaning out that way, but they're septic. So I'm gonna drop it side hill. All the reason more to go deep. I'm gonna do something that a lot of climbers do, seasoned climbers, um, and we take, it, it, it's a good thing to show guys because it saves so much energy. Yeah. Unfortunately, this isn't a real long bar, but we're gonna do it anyway. Than doing this right now okay loosen off your scare straps nick loosen this thing right off okay lean back on your strap see this thing look at what's happening now so you go like this nick come come up so now your strap is up on an angle right like this just boom bang it you're not you're not leaning on your belt right now really i mean you are but you're using your arms so you're not shocking your belt you're you're actually this is what the old boys used to do. Turn on that video from the 20s and watch those climbers. They literally pulled themselves up. I, I haven't even been in the house. I haven't even been in the freaking house. It's here, friends. <laughs> friends, Jonah, I know you're watching this, buddy, and I, I'm gonna tell you something right now. For me, at this stage of this channel and, and, and my life, I'm kind of speechless, buddy, because we did this over the phone, dude, you and I, you're 16 freaking years old, and I gave you an idea through, through, through video and messages, and, 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 and I pulled out every freaking axe that I split with, and, and, and you, he, dude, <laughs> you did a really good job. 
Dude, I thought it was bigger in the... Friends, that's, that's almost five pounds, friends. That's almost five pounds. It's just under. We're shooting for five, right? I think it's four and 14 ounces. But get, guess what? Check this out. This axe is four pounds. Just four, like four and a quarter, I think. Check this out. <laughs> it's bigger. <laughs> this thing is bigger than this one. Or smaller, pardon me, friends. This is heavier and smaller. It's it's crazy. I can't wait. It's freaking like my wife's videoing me right now. She's just chuckling because I'm so excited right now, friends. I'm so, so excited. Anyway, there it is. And check the balance point out, friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in where the steel meets the wood. That's a rock and a sock. And you've heard me say it. Oh, you darn dude, you have. Okay, friends, catch you on the next video. I'm looking forward to this. A few changes, a little couple of this and that. Joni, good job. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm.